Welcome back to 5 Minute Splunk. Today's video is creating a Linux virtual machine. This is the first video in a multi-part series where basically we'll stand up a lightweight VM for use with developing Splunk apps, playing around with Splunk architecture, things like that. So what's on the menu? As always, we'll begin with some getting started links. We'll have a discussion about Linux distributions. We'll go out and actually download the minimal ISO. And then we'll wrap up with some related videos and contact information. A couple links to get started. First off, my name is Josh. I used to work for Splunk on the professional services team. I've been on site to many, many Splunk customers and I've picked up a lot of best practices along the way. So to learn more about me and why I actually make these videos, click on the icon to the left. Next, it's a sad world we live in, but unless my videos get enough likes, no one will ever see them. So please do me a favor and press the like button now. If you work with Splunk at your day job, you should absolutely join our big data developer network. Basically, it's a chat room that connects Splunk professionals from around the world. It's a perfect place to ask questions, get real-time help, and generally just bounce ideas off one another. Don't work in a vacuum. Join our developer network today. Click on the icon to learn more. And finally, I try to push out a couple of these videos every week. So if you like them, stay up to date by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Press the icon to subscribe. All right, with that out of the way, let's put five minutes up on the clock. And today we have Success Kid saying, let's do this. Okay, so which Linux distribution should we use? There are a ton of Linux distros and flavors out there in the wild. You have Debian, FreeBSD, Ubuntu, Mint, Fedora, the list goes on and on. Basically, it all comes down to features that are baked in and package management utilities. Now, for our purposes, all we want to do is set up a lightweight command line VM. Uh, we're not going to use any graphical user interface. So, my personal recommendation and what I always use is CentOS. So what is CentOS? Well, basically it's the free version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It's really well supported. If you go to websites like HowToForge or Stack Overflow, you'll find tons of tutorials and examples. I personally really like the package management utilities. Um, we'll be using RPM and YUM from the command line to install libraries, to update utilities, and to install applications. So without further delay, let's go out and download the minimal ISO. Okay, let's start by heading out to Google and we'll search for CentOS mirrors. The first link looks right. Yep, this is it. So th these are all the mirrors uh, from around the world. Now, personally, I live in California, so I'm gonna pick, let's pick this one. So I'll click on the HTTP link for Stanford University. That'll bring me to the public mirror in which case I can see all the different versions of CentOS throughout the years. Now, the one that I care about is the latest version. So at the time of this recording, that is 6.4. There's a lot of folders in here, but there's only one we care about, and that is ISOs. So click ISOs. Now, this is where things might be different for me and for you. Um, I'm developing on a MacBook Pro, which uses 64-bit architecture. Now, if you have an older computer or you have 32-bit architecture, you'll want to click the i386. But if you have 64 architecture like me, you'll click 64. Now, both folders will still be exactly the same. Um, the one we're looking for is this one, uh, CentOS 6.4 x86 64-bit. Uh, again, minimal ISO. You'll see it's pretty lightweight. It weighs in at around 350 megabytes. So let's click it. We'll save it out to our hard drive. Now in this case, I always set up a folder called virtual machines and inside that is an ISOs folder. Um, in fact, if you look in here, you can see I have the older 6.3 version. Uh, it's not uncommon for me to have lots of different versions of ISOs for different customers. So let's click save and save it out. Okay, so while that's downloading, let's have a quick talk about virtual machine software. In my opinion, there's three major players in this space. You got VirtualBox, Parallels, and VMware. Now VirtualBox is great. It's cross-platform, developed by Sun Microsystems, which means Oracle now owns it. And best of all, it's free. Um, the other two pieces of software, Parallels and VMware, you're paying for tool sets and advanced features. Now me personally, I use VMware. 
I've been using it for years and I really like the way it does snapshotting and cloning, uh, things like that. But for sake of argument, you could use any one of these pieces of software to do what we're about to do. Okay, that's all the time we have for this video. Once your download's finished, you can move on to the next one where we'll set it up using VMware, or the one after that where we'll configure it using command line. Make sure to keep the conversation going. We have the username 5 Splunk at just about all the social media sites. Uh, we post some pretty cool stuff, so make sure to check us out. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching.